10 to the what? 10 to the first. And I can. Okay, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty small. Zoom back. Out. Oops. That didn't work. That, that you know, that's 10 to the, that's 10 to the second up there. Where the, the y axis? The y axis? Mm hmm. Is that 10 to the second? I think we're good. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, it's 10 to the second there. Yeah, that's still got some, some change in it, but that's pretty close to radio flow. Though. Well, like I said, let me zoom up on it here, and you can, there you can. There, yeah, there's 10 to the second there. Yeah, it's on its way back down. It's, yeah. It, that, that's pretty close to radio flow. Mm -hmm. That's about as much as you'll see. Maybe another, maybe another 30 or 45 minutes of shutting would have got this into radial flow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's one, same thing, short initial flow. This, this is, this, this, this is a, let's look at the recovery on this and I'm sure this is going to be a pretty negative test. Yeah, 225 foot of fluid. Big change in the shut-in pressures here. Um, And, the, and what I would say, and, I, and, and what, you know, not doing any evaluation, I would, I would speculate here that this zone here is really, really, really starting to get tight as you get further away from the well bore. I mean, it's. Hundred? No, there was some oil there. It was even smaller reservoir than last one. Hundred twenty-five foot of recovery. Of what? Oh, mud, mud cut oil, and, and then twenty foot of free oil. What was the interval? Cherokee sand, 58 foot anchor. I, I would probably bet that there is no measurable depletion on this test, despite the fact that what's your pressure drop? A couple hundred pounds? Yeah, pounds. yeah, this, this. I, I'd be willing to bet that if you extrapolate those out, there's no pressure drop. Right, it's just a tight. It's just a tight, tight sand, real tight sand. But that 125 feet. And how long did you flow for an hour? What does that calculate to in barrels per day? Uh, I can, I can, I can tell you that. Um, let, me, but just for that, before I get there, though, let's let's just look at uh, derivative on the initial and the final here, and uh, oh, how come you're not checking? In the, in the first screen, when you pick the flow. When I did what now? When you pick the flow cycle, see that second where it says uh, for fluid? <coughs> it will go up right below the, the first, no, back, go back to the next. Get clear out of this, you mean? No, right there. Okay. The flow cycle one. Right. The next box below it, why aren't you checking and using for fluid? It defaults to fluid. If you if you're on a gas test, then you check this, then you click it over to gas. But but the but the but the but the people who wrote the software, I don't they they it always defaults to fluid. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I thought you had to check that. Yeah, and then and then it also you can override it, but it also knows how long you were flowing. In other words, that's eight that that five minutes or whatever that's that's eight hundredths of an hour that the well flowed. Or if you go down here and look at flow cycle two. Then you've got your hour plus your eight hundreds there. <coughs> and then kind of a funny looking derivative here too. Look how it, it climbs and flattens a little bit, but then it's 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 nowhere near radial flow. See how it's but if you tried to do a horner on this, you'd get some really just for the I'll show you here, I mean just to show you how bogus it's gonna look. And I'll give it every benefit of the doubt. You can kind of see you zoom up, you can, you can almost tell yourself, well, it's changing here, so I'll pick this point. Slope begin, this slope here, slope end. Then I go to next. And then see, it's, it's showing a P star of 817, but look, look how this is climbing. There's, there's just no way, that's, that's, there's nothing, that, there's nothing to be gained by this. And then look, at, look how high this slope is. This slope's up over a thousand. 
because uh, anytime when you get into radial flow, you're going to see slope numbers really, really low compared to you know the, this styles and this this is this is basically meaningless. But that's just like the last two minutes. Of the flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not very far, and, and For a maybe, yeah, and, and and there again, you can tell. Uh, so you only pick the last minute. Of the yeah, and I could pick more. I mean, I could I could go down here, and it's not going to make it any different, really. But I will. It'll change the slope. Though. Let's see here. The the, the problem is, and this software is, is not real good at that. But if you <clears throat> on my software, I can put that. Corner solution. The corner solution is a horizontal line. So you're looking at that derivative. In order for the corner to be valid, that horizontal line has to fit on that derivative. We well, can see the only place it fits is real early. About right, you're right there. Mm -hmm. The only place that, that you actually saw a radial flow. Okay. So if you put your okay. next, you can put your uh, your corner solution right there. You're gonna come up with you know 600 pounds which is bottom pressure. But you can see. So continue to build. Well, there's no other place that you can put that horizontal yeah, see, on that button. And he's, look at that, just, just, just what he said. See it, when I did that, then it shows the P star is 603. And it shows the slope as being less, but, the, but, but obviously you, you can't have 603 pounds of, of uh, shut-in pressure when you already know that you have more than that from your actual measured pressure. Probably one of the strangest tests we run across here. Um, this is a this is a Fort Scott, Ness County, and uh, you know I'm sure if you've been looking for Fort Scott and Ness County, you can you can know what what it can do to you. It can it can be be pretty flashy, but there again, short initial flow, initial shut in up here 11:24, and we and there and there again. Uh, uh, Recovered. All, this is all oil, all gassy oil. But look what happened here. This thing, and that we're and we're, and, the, and we're still open here. I mean, we're we're we're, we're the flow is building up here, and, and the flow really really is starting to flatten out here at about this 700 pound number. And then when we shut and, and we shut the tool in here, and we just barely have anything else happening. Uh, you know. My opinion on this would be this is this is this is this is this is bad. This is this is a you know something's happening here that we that we go clear from a le you know almost 1,200 pounds of pressure and and and, and we never we never ever ever see any anything like that again during during the test. Did it continue to blow? Let's look. I imagine it did because it was real gassy oil. It looks like this one continuous flow. Like uh, this is what I look at also. Paul's got to steal all the thunder here. But my, my first thing was, you know, the trawler bike doesn't maintain the tools and cheap bastards and uh, let all their O-rings go away and say they have to shut in. <laughs> Paul informed me that's not the case. So I have to go look at, at plan B. When you, when you look at the derivative on this thing, what you see is this, the pressure is built up so much during the flow period you know, it's almost it down. And it has, and right, the, right. The short flow period that we that we've got, all you're actually looking at is the wellbore itself. 